try CL. I'll come back to this C, CL3 in a minute. What, what is something I can do to find a simpler expression for CL? Instead of using PSSH, I'll go to the reversible reaction. Does that make sense? So I'm going to say rate 1 equals rate 1 reverse. The problem doesn't specify which way you must solve it, so it's fair game. You can use reversible stuff, you can use PSSH, you can use both, which we'll have to in this case, whatever's necessary. So, uh, in this case, K1, CL, uh, 2, equals K1 prime, CL squared. Let me solve for CL. CL uh, equals K1 over K1 prime, CL2 to the 1 half power. Because I had it squared here, I think square root both sides. I have an expression for CL in terms of CL2, which is not an intermediate. So that's good. I'm done with CL. Now let's go back and work on the CCL3. Um, I'll go to another page here. Keep that page handy. We'll have to refer back to it, though. Okay, so in this case, uh, we're solving for rate 3. That's K3, CL, CCL3. And you saw from the pseudo state state hypothesis, this equals rate 2. Rate 2 equals rate 3 from the previous page. So let's write out rate 2. Rate 2, uh, which equals rate 3, is equal to... Uh, so just look at your reaction there. It's K2 times uh, CL times CHCL3. Okay, let's look at this one. Is this an intermediate? That one right here. That one's not. CL is. I have an expression for CL already. Let's just plug it in and I'm done. I'll do it for a different color, so if you want to see that. Rate 3, which is my answer, happens to equal rate 2, which is K2, CHCL3, times the expression for CL, which is what on the previous page. Uh, K1 over K1 prime, CL2 to the 1 half power. I'm pretty much done. I'll just simplify. This one equals K2, K1, or K1 prime, uh, CH, CL3, CL2, the one half. I'm done. It's definitely easier when I do it because you see what order to do it in. Uh, there's no way I would have known uh, necessarily to not continue with two PSSHs for both intermediates, except that it got so insoluble. Yeah, uh, so first you. Uh, how did you pull the K1 and the K1 prime out of the square root? Oh, yeah, thank you. That still has the one half power. Excellent. Is that the same question up here? Yeah. Okay. Other questions? Oh, yeah. Uh, why didn't I set the two, set these two equations equal to each other? The CL cancels, uh, and then solve for CCL3. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, you want to try it? Uh, she wants to, that's a great idea. Uh, do... This equals CL. And you want to solve for, cancel CL from both sides. I'm going to solve for CCL3. Is that right? CCL3 
equals K2 over K3 CHCl3. Am I going along your idea so far? Okay, let's plug that back in now to R3, our answer, right? R3, uh, and for me it's on the top of the page, so look in your notes, is K3 uh, times, uh, I'm going to plug, well, I'll keep CL here for a second, CL times CCL3, which is this. K2 over K3 CH. <coughs> CL3. Oh, the K3s cancel. Oh, what did I just get? I got R2 back out. Does that make sense? So it becomes circular, uh, which you wouldn't have known if you hadn't tried it. But uh, a change will become circular, and the reason is since they're equal and you're solving for one and plugging it back into the same expression, it would be impossible to solve. Uh, so it becomes circular mathematically. So that also won't work, though it's something that you probably need to try it, you know, until you find the right answer. Oh. Can you still do that and solve for CL? Well, that's, that's essentially what I did because I said R3 equals R2, and then I added the CL in there. You could have added it in here. Um, you've added this work for you. Uh, you essentially would have done the same thing. Yeah. So she's saying, and he was saying, why not put the CL in here? Yeah, you, you're basically doing this. So that would eventually get you there. A little more scenic route, but it would have got you there. Yes? So um, for the second part you did where you uh, solved for the CCL3 here? at the bottom? In oh, the down here. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. So you would solve for the CL just because maybe it, it occurs twice in the reaction up above um, in the, I think it was blue? Uh, up here? Yeah, where you solved for C, or you put in the CL that you solved for. Here, yeah, myself, I put in this CL right uh, here. Yeah. Uh, so for me, since that was an intermediate, R2 and R3 are already equal. I'll just plug in for CL. I'm done. Uh, if you go a little more roundabout, uh, using R2 and R3 to solve for CCL3, which is normally fine, but because you're plugging it back into the same equation, you're going to get R2 equals R3 again which is where you started, um, and then you can plug CL in here, which is the same thing I did up here. Mm -hmm. okay. So this is maybe the more scenic route mm -hmm. if, if you use this stuff down here. It doesn't hurt you to do it, uh, it's just a little additional work. Okay. Which you might need to do on an exam just to like figure stuff out. <coughs>